Short selling, or shorting, is the act of betting against a company's stock. If the share price goes down, the short seller makes money. If the share price goes up, they lose it. It is the most rhetorical of investments. A short position is a statement of a belief, a minority opinion held against the will of the majority. Short sellers often find themselves isolated, sometimes even shunned, by the wider investing world. Sometimes a short position is a moral crusade. In 2012, the hedge fund manager Bill Ackman took a $1 billion bet against Herbalife, accusing the company of being a pyramid scheme. Ackman wanted to put Herbalife out of business, and enrich his investors in the process. When a short seller triumphs, a David and Goliath story writes itself. The band of misfits who shorted the U.S. housing market in the run-up to the financial crisis became the heroes of Michael Lewis the Big Short. But sometimes short sellers lose. In 2018, Ackman was forced to cut his losses and abandon the position he had taken against Herbalife. To lose, however, doesn't mean that a short seller is necessarily wrong, just that they cannot afford to keep betting against the received wisdom. Betting on Zero, a 2017 documentary charting Ackman's holy war, raises unanswered questions about the nature of Herbalife's business. Today, the company with the highest value of short positions held against it is Tesla. Or at least, until very recently, it was. In the last five weeks, it has been reported that the short sellers who bet against Tesla have lost a total of $8.4 billion as the share price has surged. Steve Eisman, one of the big shorts protagonists, confirmed that he is no longer shorting Tesla, not because he thinks he was wrong, but because he thinks the share price has cult-like aspects to it and is unmoored from its true valuation. There is good reason to be wary of the dramatic recent rise in Tesla's share price. Tesla is now the world's second most valuable car company, behind only Toyota. But it sells a fraction of the number of cars. Last year, it sold just 3.5% of Toyota's total. Sales growth cannot explain it. In the second half of last year, car sales revenue at Tesla fell by 5.6%. And it has never come close to turning an annual profit. Last year, it lost $862 million. Those chasing Tesla's shares upwards would do well to note how closely its share price is tracking that of the South Sea Company, whose collapse was one of the most famous, and ruinous, in history. The believers then were in good company, but it didn't help them much. Sir Isaac Newton was among their number, thought to have lost the equivalent of £3 million in the South Sea bubble. Of course, you never quite know when a bubble will burst. As mentioned, short selling is a rhetorical investment. And just as in the greatest rhetorical endeavors, to be right is not always to be rewarded. Ma for more on this story, visit the news article link.